talk about cholesterol a little bit. So many people um, ha have grown up and, and, and been going to the doctor knowing that this is the number, this side is good, this side is bad, and it's always 200. Um, is that an accurate measure, or what do we know or need to know now about, about cholesterol? I want to emphasize that there is still some truth to that, that cholesterol hypothesis. Just there's some gray area that we need to figure out. You know, any, anytime you have higher levels of cholesterol, it means you have higher levels of fat that could potentially be oxidized. Um, and so the concept of like changing your oil, you want to change it from these unstable fats to these more stable fats as best, much as you can. Uh, so it becomes a relative discussion. You know, 220 for me could be too high because of the fats I'm eating and, and other contexts of my lifestyle that's sure. uh, making those fats unstable, um, atherogenic, that, that sort of thing. Uh, so that's something to keep in, in mind. Um, but the, to take all of that and just put it on one number is, it's not useful. <laughs> I mean, as for what we now, now know, I mean, there's always an evolution of how, you know, things develop. And we, we went with the best information we had, and then it got potentiated, you know, through industries. And, and now we're, we're able to revisit some of that information. It's just not a good marker. Uh, when you look at the, even the correlative studies, uh, you know, total cholesterol to HDL is better than total cholesterol, LDL, or HDL, or, you know, individually. Things, again, the, the C-reactive protein, the lipoprotein A. And another marker that may actually be the best marker uh, is known as particle number. And this is, you know, how numerous these LDLs are sort of in the highway of the blood. So if you think of these uh, LDLs as uh, cars, you know, carrying fat around the bloodstream. It's like the, the highway gets too uh, crowded. And right. so when it gets too crowded, you get more chance of accidents. And, you know, they could crash into the blood vessel wall and, you know, create inflammation and, uh, you know, uh, start uh, the placking process and that sort of thing. Um, so there, there's a lot of details, you know, in the middle. They, they've done, you know, studies where uh, they looked at, there was, I believe, 130 over 135,000 patients who were hospitalized with coronary heart artery disease. And 50% of them had normal levels of cholesterol based on our current standards. And so the response could be two ways. One, the model's wrong, or they need to lower the number. And, yeah. and I believe in the past, the number used to actually be 220. Okay. Um, and I think it, it also falls apart when you look at male and female differences. Uh, women tend to have higher levels of cholesterol naturally. Uh, you know, so 220, 230 may be normal. Again, that's where the ratios become a little bit more important because they tell more of a story. Uh, and so, def and, and the, the reason it's so detrimental is because then it becomes easy to say, okay, well, this raises your cholesterol, so now we need to not do that. And it loses the context. Mm -hmm. 